Breaks. Tennis superstar Naomi Osaka is slammed over her new project with Lebron James because its name has a very sexually explicit meaning for 200 million Africans. Seems like another tennis star has fallen into hot water. Former tennis world number one, Naomi Osaka, has been swamped with backlash over her new Hanukkah media platform with partner Lebron James, as the business name implies a very explicit message in the African language, Swahili. The Japanese star has joined forces with recently announced billionaire Lebron James to kickstart a storytelling medium that releases culturally specific narratives to a wider audience. Hanakuma, which translates to flower bear in Japanese, is another venture of Osaka's, who became the world's highest paid female athlete in 2020, earning $37 million. In Swahili, a niece African language spoken across 14 countries, like Kenya and Tanzania, the native phrase is barely whispered as it means a woman with no vagina. Many East African supporters of Asaka have asked that she change the name of her new venture to respect the language miscommunication. If you keep the name, the name will override the news and the stories you wish to share. The name of the brand is already news. I suggest a change and also just being a bit respectful to global culture. It's not overthinking here, it's protecting a brand. A Twitter user posted, Swahili is listed in the world's top 10 most spoken languages and more than 200 million people speak the tongue. On June 22, Asaka tweeted prayers for all my overthinkers. We be going through it. Whether a direct comment on the discourse surrounding the name, the production company has the intention to empower people from many different walks of life. The first project is a documentary in collaboration with the New York Times about the first woman of color sworn into Congress, Patsy Mink. The 24-year-old four-time Grand Slam champion pulled out of this year's Wimbledon to start on June 27, after struggling to recover from an ongoing Achilles injury. Her new company launched chats to yet another initiative turn from idea to invention with agent Stuart Dugwit. Asaka and Dugwit burst onto the sports business scene with the rise of Evolve, a management platform that helps professional athletes communicate with brand partnerships and investments. Asi tennis hothead, Nick Kiri Asi was the first star to join the company, as Asaka said the Australian was a player who transcends their sport with unique style, passion, and personality. Meanwhile, four-time finals MVP and champion Lebron James has become the second NBA player to amass a net worth of $1 billion. The Spring Hill Company, founded by James and his business associate Maverick Carter, will help fund, operate, and produce content for the Hanukkah startup. Let's hope they see sense and do something about the name. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more up-to-date news within the tennis world.